Good evening guys and welcome back to the Fergie Way with me Teacher Fan. We are of course on episode 8 of season 4 now on the Fergie Way. It's going far isn't it? It's going a long long time. I think this is about episode 77 of the series in total. So if you've been here from the beginning, you're absolute belters, thank you very much. Um, today's episode, of course, we are playing Southampton, fresh off the back of beating City. The massive three points we picked up against City, we needed it because, of course, they'd gone unbeaten in the last episode. So if you're not checked it out, definitely go take a look because it's worth a view. I promise you it's definitely worth watching. So yeah, Southampton today. So we'll get rid of the intro and I'll see you on the other side. So before we go any further guys, as usual, just a little bit, I just wanted to say I've been getting a load of feedback from you guys just lately, of course over the last few episodes, I've been asking a few questions, so if there's anything I've not asked, but basically you wanted to give you two cents on, on how I'm doing my content or anything like that, any feedback whatsoever, I can handle criticism, I'm a big lad, I can I can handle it, I've been around a bit, so honestly anything you've got to say, bomb, bomb it in the comments, I'll, I'll read through everything, drop your responses where I can, but honestly, guys, thank you very much because the interaction just now has been amazing. We're still growing and it's all top notch. So thank you very much. So we will get on into, of course, what is the news section, I suppose. So as you can see, one thing I've not shown you this, guys. So um, I've got a young Welsh lad, Martin Jenkins. He came from the youth setup. It was uh, last year, I think it was. Nothing special, I'll be honest when I looked at him. Nothing amazing, but of course, not bad. So I've loaned him out to Peterborough. He's just one young player of the month for Peterborough of course so we'll just take a look at him and wow check that out kids in four years time this is what you've got to look forward to some sort of crazy shaved head with horrible they are horrible things just hanging down the side I don't know what what you would call him but let's be honest mutt ugly uh, as we can see the lad's not bad you know he's not horrific don't think he's ever going to become a world beater let's be honest but physicals Pretty good, he seems to be progressing quite well. Determination sat on 11, so if he was to come back into the club and actually do anything, I think I would have to give him some tutoring by some much more determined players to try and up that. Uh, but yeah, it was certainly one. It came from the news feed. I thought, oh, we'll have a look at him. I'll show you guys how he's done. Um, so next one along, player of the month, Paolo Dybala. So of course, he had three appearances since he's arrived at the club in the Premier League. Got three goals. Spent a lot of money on Dybala, and maybe not, I mean, he's not my most expensive sign, I'm pretty sure that was uh, Sanchez um, a couple of seasons ago, but bearing in mind how much I hankered after buying Dybala, and the fact that he's sort of come in and made an instant impact, the goals he's scored have been important goals, I mean, each and almost, almost each and every one of his goals has scored have been massively important, and not only that, his link play with his other strike partners, I mean, we've seen him put for him in, if you watch Liverpool game, that deft lob that uh, young Rashford put over the top was all built from Dybala. So, great to see that he's got player of the month, basically. You know, it sort of justifies the fact that I wanted to bring him in and felt that he could make an instant impact, and that's exactly what he's done. Unfortunately, we didn't win young player of the month. Twin Derby did come second, though, which is nice to see. And back to normal. Eric Cantona, manager of the month. What we like to see, of course, we didn't win every game. It was just a win against City, a win against Arsenal, of course, a massive win against Arsenal, and a draw at home to Bournemouth. And the only other news we've got is we'll just take a look if we go to the squad. Not necessarily a bad problem to have at the moment because they have very uh, four very good strikers. Um, as we can see, Anthony Martial here is out for six to seven weeks. He's broke a toe. Not the end of the world, not great for the lad of course, but when we still have Rashford, Depay and of course we have Dybala, it's going to give me more chances to play those guys. Martial's going to sit out for a few weeks. Of course Real Madrid were hot on the tail of him, we got him signed up to a contract um, which was all groovy. It's one thing that we wanted to do with Madrid, try, kept trying to poach all our players. So yeah, he's signed up, so now that he's got his new contract he can sit back a bit. Chill out, we'll play Rashford, we'll play Memphis alongside Dybala or I might even drop Dybala to play Rashford and Memphis depending on how people play because there's no automatic spots in the team unless maybe you're Pogba. Um, so yeah, Martial out, six to seven weeks, oh well, we'll move on. So if we go into the schedule, since you were last here we went to play West Ham in the FL Cup fourth round. So I'll just highlight it here so we can just bring it up on the side. As you can see, played the younger guys, we had Donna Rummer playing Rashawn Williams. Rashawn Williams actually partnered Eric Bailly that game, but we had Borthwick Jackson, Fossu Mensah, Callum Gribbin, etc. Now Gribbin grabbed the goal, Martial grabbed two, which was nice. Memphis grabbed a goal, which is good because he's sort of been a couple of injuries at the early part of the season. Is Whenever he's 
played, he's played well, but then he's been injured and missed a few games. And of course, Angel Gomez grabbing one, 6-1. It was a resounding win in the end. By half time, we ended up being 4 1. But West Ham scored in the second minute, and it then took until the 24th minute, I think. Yeah, 24th minute for us to grab a goal. And it was hard watching for that 20 minute period. I play an extended, as you know. So for that 20 minutes, I didn't feel we were getting anything. But then once we scored, floodgates opened. Bish, bash, bosh, 6 1. We then went to play Stoke in the Premier League. And this is where Martial did get injured. He did grab a goal before the game finished. And it was 1 0. And we were lucky it was 1-0. They had a man sent off. They were out of 10 men for the vast majority of the game. We couldn't break them down anymore. Enough said about that. But it was an important three points. And then we went on to the Champions League. This is the fourth game in the Champions League now. We had Copenhagen and we won 3-0. Very, very convincing. Of course, we were playing at home. As you can see, James Rodriguez grabbed himself a couple of goals. I say James, I say James. I switch it up. It just depends how I feel when I look at his name. I'll be brutally honest. Uh, Dybala also grabbed himself a goal. Copenhagen didn't even really turn up, to be honest. And that now gives us 12, uh, 12 points. We've qualified. So, we're through. Happy days. So, in today's game, we have Southampton. Not the biggest of opponents, but the great thing about Southampton at the moment, there's another content creator. His name's Fat Man Dupe. You may have seen him before. If you've been following me, I was on his show called Meet the Community. This is Tuesday now. Yesterday, he had a new series start. He did a lovely little intro, a nice little cinematic piece. I'm just going to bang a thumbnail up on the screen while I'm talking about this. But he did a lovely cinematic piece. He's got a real good story built around the way he wants to take the club. It's going to be daily content. And I think it's cracking. I watched the first episode there yesterday. So, if you want to get in on the ground floor, on another guy's a funny lad as well. Not, I mean, I take this sometimes almost too fucking seriously, let's be honest. But he's a funny guy as well. Honestly, go check him out. Links in the description. It'll be a belt. And I just thought it was quite fitting that we're playing Southampton today and his new series came out yesterday. So, honestly, check it out. Link's down there somewhere. We are, of course, though, going to head straight over to game day. So, I'll see you there. So, here we are then on game day. First thing I want to say is Southampton currently languishing 18 from the Premier League. So, my squad selection is based on the fact that they've got a poor stand. And we are, of course, at home as well. So, I've decided to rest a few of the bigger guys, play a few of the... I can't call them younger guys no more. I mean, some of these guys are getting of age now. We have Foss and Mensa and Grimmin and stuff. They are coming of age. They need to be playing more game time. So that's what I've got in mind. That's why I've chose the team I've selected today. So we have Donnarumma in goal. Then we have Alaba, Twins, Arby, Rashawn Williams and Damian. Rashawn Williams played a few games over the... Basically, since we was last off camera, and to be honest, been belting. He's played a couple of nines as well. He's been so, so good. I had a comment as well in the comment section. Forgive me, I forget your name, but I, I did message you back. We were, we were chatting back and forth. Um, Monty, Monty, that's you. Yeah, so Monty mentioned in the in the comment section. Now, of course, they have a, a glut of centre-backs at the moment. And Rashawn Williams is quite quick as well. So there might be a shout that I retrain him, possibly retrain him. As a right back, I've not looked into it properly yet, but I'm going to Monty, so don't worry about it. So yeah, and then we have Damian playing right back today. We have Herrera playing the defensive role because that's where we're retraining him to play now. Then we have Fosu Mensa on the right hand side and Gribbin on the left. We have James Rodriguez starting because he's got to grab a couple of goals in his last game. And then we have Rashford and Depay up front. We do have Dybala, Pogba and the other stars all sat on the bench. Players who we can use if we absolutely need to. On to the Southampton team now. They have Fraser Forster in net and they have Rideweld, Brooks, St. Just, I think it's St. Just, don't know this lad, but yeah, he's playing in there, and then Calabria, and then you have Vincent Kumpener, get a load of that, I mean, he must be getting on a bit now, like, I mean, his bones are made of glass at the best of times, so he's no surprise that he's moved on to a, what you might call a lesser team, sorry Southampton fans, not a jive, but obviously he was at Sitter, obviously, not really a big team themselves, but loads of money. Um, so, yeah, Vincent Kupner, not bad mental still, obviously getting slow, but I think at 33 years old, if you want an old head in the dressing room, they're paying him a good bit of money, though, Southampton, £105,000 uh, £105, a week. Uh, so, yeah, we, I digress, we'll move on. Then they have Classy and Tadier, 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 um, in the middle. And then they have Buffal, Jairo, and Mario Balotelli up top. Now, when Mario Balotelli first made the move, Southampton... He lit fires. The lad was doing really well. I think he went off the boil. Let's hope he doesn't have a great game today. Go on to the opposition instructions. What are you having to say there, Roy? And hard tackling on Balotelli, which comes as no surprise because I think any assistant manager worth their salt would hard tackle Mario Balotelli because he's a bit of a bellend. 
Um, who else? We got Jordi Classe. Happy days. Go on to the team talk. I'm gonna tell the guys that I'm not gonna tell them to be passionate and, and pick up where they left off because I've rotate the team quite heavily. Instead, I said about media backing them. It's not really got that many responses, so we are gonna tell them that we have faith. Get a right load of greens. Happy days. Let's get on with the game. Yeah, so Duke Southampton save. If you get a chance, honestly, go have a look because he put a lot of effort in. Duke has been one who's been known to not really upload too often, but he's starting with daily content, so touch wood. The lab keeps up with it, but uh, the series has started really well, and I know with it being daily, sometimes it's hard to keep up with, so I think if we can get in on the ground floor, pretty sure you'll enjoy it. So it's Twins Arby on the ball now. One thing I will say, played a lot of these youngsters over the, over the few games that we've been gone, and they've actually been playing really well. Dare I say, some of them playing better than what I class my first teamers. So uh, definitely, definitely hoping that they're going give to give us a performance worth remembering today. Forster tries knocking it out to Balotelli. We get the end of a highlight, and I look like a knob. So we have just won a corner out of nowhere, and it looks like Rodriguez is running up to take it. It's going to come to the edge of the box. Gribben's been booked, which is something I've not seen. This is the first real highlight, to be honest. Just been snapped as well by none other than Mario Balotelli. No surprises as Rodriguez hits another corner in. Williams knocks it down to Gribben. Still Gribben. Gribben tried going alone, but the ball is out now with Herrera. Back to Gribben. Plays it out wide. Lovely ball to Rodriguez, who goes into the box. Looks like he falls over his own shoelaces, either that or a blade of grass. And Southampton have the possession back. But Herrera wins it back, gives it Rashford. Rashford was offside. Just as you get a bit of excitement, once again, highlights over. Damian. Rodriguez. Rodriguez loses the ball again. That's two or three times now, just in the highlights that we've seen. Certainly something I want to keep my eye on. He went into the game at about 93% conditioning. So he might tire soon. Not this soon. I mean, 15 minutes. Come on, man. But he might tire a little bit later on in the game. It's Damian now. Still Damian to Gribben. Fossi Mensa. Fossi Mensa takes a shot, a weak one though. Forster more than a match for it. Southampton have the possession back. And he played it high up to Balotelli, but Twins Arby wins the ball. It's Gribben now to Fossi Mensa. Rashford. Rodriguez. Still Rodriguez plays it to Memphis. To Rashford. Oh, off the bar, was it? Or a save? It was one of the two. It's Alaba on the ball. Back across. At the edge with Herrera now. Damian. Rashford, Gribbin, Gribbin out to Damian, it was a lovely ball, Damian on the byline, plays it across, it does get cleared, uh, cleared by Calabria, and we have got a corner, but we're looking dangerous now, Gribbin to Memphis, Memphis has gone wide, loses the ball, it is out with Damian, it's Fosu Mensa now, Rashford drifts out wide to the right, ball to the edge of the air to Herrera, he hits one on the volley, Gets a save from Fraser Forster and we have won yet another corner. 20 minutes into the game, we've had five corners. It's Gribben. Gribben gets snapped, but Herrera's won the ball. Fosse Mensa to Rashford. Rashford to Rodriguez. Rodriguez tries a shot, but it's landed with Damian. Cleared out, but Twins Arby's still in possession. Forward to Mensa. End of the highlight. This keeps happening unbelievably. It's going to give the guys a little assertively demand more. It's Gribbin on the ball now. Hamez out. Great ball to Alaba. Alaba's just got to try and wing a ball in. He does do, but it gets cleared out, but only as far as Alaba. Herrera on the edge, arriving. Another save from Foster. Herrera keeps around from these deep positions, slapping the volley on, but Foster's basically tipped both of them away at the minute, but he started so well. This might be a counter attack now from Southampton through Bufal to Tide Air. Sounds like when, when the mayor off the Simpsons was saying, Ciao there. Sorry. Sorry. It's Fosu Mensa now. Memphis. Still Memphis. He's trying to forge away down the left-hand side, but he does lose out to Tider again. Tries clearing out, but Classy has the ball taken off him. It's Rashford now in space. Rashford goes far too wide. Is he going to play it back across? He does to Gribbin. Gribbin has his shot blocked. It does get cleared out to Nzabi. Wins the ball back. We're still in possession. 68% possession at the moment. Alaba to Rodriguez. Plays into Mensa. Rashford. To Hamez. Memphis had space there, but he had his back to goal. Plays it to Rashford. Rashford takes a shot. It does go over the bar. And we're absolutely dicking on him. But at the moment, we're getting no fruit for the labour whatsoever. 
Rodriguez with a shot from distance. It was a it was a fast shot. It whipped in, unfortunately, just over the bar. Looks like it was literally just over the bar from where we were. But we are going into half time. Going to aggressively tell the guys that I'm not happy with them because I'm not not because they're not trying because they are trying, but they're just not clinical enough at the final third. So I'm just going to tell the strikers assertively, disappointed with the quality of the finishing. Get them straight back out. We can see here David Alaba's playing a yellow. Well, not playing a yellow, but he's got yellow morale. So we'll take a look at that. If we look on the bench, I have no one to bring on for him. Fucking awesome. That being said, though, based on what Monty was saying, we could possibly bring on the likes of Eric Bailly or Chris Smalling and then, of course, move Roshan Williams out onto the right. We might try that a little bit later on. Which would in turn, of course, put Damian on the left. The, you know, there's a plan there, slightly, slightly. So we'll start the second half and uh, we'll re we'll review how, how Alaba's getting on because I don't know why he's got poor morale at the moment. He did whinge a little bit not so long ago about not getting enough game time. But it's just because I'm trying to play the youth players as well. It wasn't that I didn't want to play him. It was in weaker fixtures. But you know what these football players are like. So many of them are drama queens. It's Buffon, Alta Classe. Balotelli, does anyone else get the feeling that I'm going to get FM'd and Southampton are going to nick this? One chance on goal, I can see it now. It's Gribbin, Hammers, Memphis to Rashford. Rashford with a shot from distance. Forster did get a touch on it. We're going to win yet another corner. This is corner number nine. Corner number nine. Fossumenta gets the ball. He does nod it straight into the path of Forster. We don't manage to get the breakthrough that we're looking for. 50 minutes gone. Starting to get a little concerned. It's Gribbin now. Still Gribbin to Hamez, Foss and Mensa to Herrera. Hamez to Memphis, Memphis to Mensa. Mensa, oh, I thought he was going to play it through to Rashford. It didn't come, though. He has given it Memphis, and what a strike from Memphis from the edge of the air, almost from nothing. He didn't really have the space to do it. Obviously, just sort of panicked a bit, slapped one, and on this occasion, it's paid off for him. So, as you can see here, Mensa plays it forward to Memphis. As I say, he just basically just turned on the spot, belted one, it went right down the middle of the goal. Forster's got to be disappointed because he's had a good game up to now. I don't really care about Forster, we're one up. Memphis stood over a free kick. Ricochet's back off the wall for a throw-in. We probably will start looking at making change at the moment. Base, I'm going to base it as well on Al If Alaba's morale's still down, I'm definitely going to take him off. I'm probably going to lose Gribbin due to that yellow card as he plays a wonderful ball into Damian. Damian's still on it. Oh, if he'd have just played it a little bit backwards towards the penalty spot. We had a gaggle of United players sat there. I'm sure one of them would have been able to get something on it. Hammers tries it to the back post. Doesn't work. Forster comes out, collects it. 60th minute. As we can see, his morale's fairly good. However, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. So, if I bring on... Let me think what I'm doing here. If I bring on Smalling, then what we're going to do is we're going to swap Smalling with Rashawn. And then we're going to swap Damian with Rashawn. So Damian's going to be out on left back. Rashawn Williams is going to play right back for the remainder of the game. I'm also going to bring off Callum Gribbin for Paul Pogba. And then I'm going to save another substitution for a little bit later in the game. See how the strikers are doing. Because Rashford, once again, he's blowing cold. Don't know what happens with the lad. Give him a talking to. He starts behaving again, starts playing quite well. And then he just seems to drop off the boil. It's Gribbin. Rodriguez. Out to Alaba. Alaba puts a ball to the edge to Fosu Mensa. And Fosu Mensa belts one over the bar for a second. There was like a, there was an element of stutter just as it happened. I really thought it was going to go in. It wasn't the case. We remain at 1-0. The substitutes will have taken place. Southampton themselves have just made three substitutes all on the 60th minute. We've saved one for now though. It's Fosu Mensa. Still Mensa, but he lost out to Kumpana. Gives it to Sampero. Sampeo, Sampero, don't really know, can't really see his name because Rashawn Williams was in the way. But it's Pogba now to Memphis. Memphis tries another one from distance. You've been lucky once in this game, Memphis. Don't push your luck now, son. Rodriguez from the edge of the area there. It was one of those free kicks that just arrive out of nowhere. Sometimes you feel it's probably going to go in. That's what I felt then. Didn't happen. Won yet another corner that Rodriguez will swing in. Goes down to Memphis. Go on, Memphis. Oh, it did go down to Menso, nodded it down to Memphis. I reckon Memphis had a good chance to make it two there. Didn't take it though. Rodriguez whips in a deep, deep free kick. Rashford out on the right hand side. Plays a low ball. Once again, tipped out by Forster. And we're going to get another corner. Southampton yet to register a single shot, either on or off target. It's Damian now. Herrera. 
Played the ball to Rodriguez, but Rodriguez wasn't sort of in tandem with him. It did go past him. We lost out, but we are back in possession. It's Damian on the left. Damian's in on the box. Her oh, Rashford nods it straight down. He did go for the bottom corner, but Forster beat him there. Quarter of an hour left. Just going to take a look at the lads now, and as we can see, fitness is now becoming an issue. Weakest one being Fosu Men, so we'll bring on Renato Sanchez. We're going to have to hope now that the other lads can see this game out. And uh, we're quarter of an hour ago. I've got growing concerns that that's Southampton are going to go up our end, register one single shot, and walk away with something from this game that they really don't deserve. Rodriguez hits the bike, falls to Rashford. Is he onside? We're waiting. He's onside, 2 0. The concerns I was just saying about Southampton, if they want to go up that end now and, and score off a single solitary shot, I'm not going to be that bothered. But Rashford, first one to pounce on the rebound. Great great free kick by Rodriguez. Unfortunately, it clipped the bar, but it was perfect timing from Rashford to just tap it past Forster. It's Pogba now. Still Pogba. Pogba with a shot from distance yet again, but Rashford's picked up the ball that was saved by Forster. Plays it out to the edge to Herrera, to Sanchez. Rashford in the area, loses out. Sampio, Sampero, we still don't know his name. And that was the end of the highlight. Looks like we are in. This will be the final highlight now as Redmond stands over a free kick. Gets cleared out by Twins Arbor. We walk out 2-0 winners and a good result from what's essentially mainly a second. I don't even think I've got a second string squad anymore. These lads are starting to play so well. I mean, granted, we're not seeing any fantastic sort of match ratings here. Fossil Mental with a 7.4. I'm, I'm mainly looking at defence. Rashawn Williams playing a 7, but of course he ended up getting put in a different role for the balance of the game. But either way, I'm happy with the guys. It was a good win. Of course, Memphis playing an 8.3. We will sort of uh, single him out, telling that he was grand today. No one played particularly bad, so no one's going to be getting a tongue lashing. So yeah, three points in the bag. So here we are then, guys, on the schedule. Today's episode done and dusted. The young lads doing a great, great job against Southampton. So we've got West Ham, Baal and West Brom. Going to play all them off camera. We then have Chelsea in the EFL Cup quarter final. Reason I'm going to come back and show that one is basically it will be the a, a nice, not a nice weak team, but basically, you know, your Donna Rummers. Tw uh, Twins Arbe, Rashawn Williams and of course Callum Gribben, Angel Gomez those lads are all going to be featuring let's see if they can win the title that they lost out in the semi-final last year against Manchester City so all being well they're going to do us a solid so again guys I mentioned at the beginning of the episode if you can drop anything in the comments any feedback you feel you want to give me honestly as I say thick skin, no drama you know feel free to say what you want if you've enjoyed the episode, don't forget to drop a like on it. You're helping the channel out tremendously. We are getting so close to 1,000 subs now, guys. So if you can share it anywhere or any of that good stuff, do feel free because you'll be helping the channel out a hell of a lot. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit the sub button. You can catch up on the Fergie way. The links are all in the description. Of course, the link for Fat Man Dupes' new Southampton save is in there. Definitely worth checking out. And other than that, guys, I hope to see you in tomorrow night's episode. I've been Teach FM, and I'll catch you later. See you in a bit.